What's going on guys? I'm Tina and we're back with another satisfactory video. Don't question it. Yay! Welcome to Fix It. I'm Bob and today I'll be your... Get on with it! I'm screwed. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the wonderful Church of Chaos. I think it is, or Chaos Church, the Cathedral of Chaos, whatever you want to call this giant monstrosity. This is my mega factory, and it is coming along very nice. Look how good this is. So in the last episode, I finished off making all this wonderful power on the side. Yes, we have a butt ton of these wonderful fuel generators. I'm going to be using those with, the, well, I'm going to use those in conjunction. In conjunction? Is that the right way to say it? Who knows? But that's what I'm going with. I'm going to use those in conjunction with some nice turbo fuel and get that going. As well as finishing the idea for the fuel power, we also started making some nice little struts. So I wanted to keep in with the theme of what I was doing on the bottom, where everything is built like an actual, you know, not factory, but an actual building. See, where you actually have to use struts for supports and stuff like that, and all that kind of fun stuff. But I still wanted to keep the nice big open spaces and all the different levels that we would be making stuff in. So as you can see here, we have all the different levels open and ready to go for when we start building stuff in here. And of course, this is a plenty big, so even if I get my biggest production, which is the refinery, da, 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 I still have plenty of room to go to walk around, not to mention to change things up. So when I get a good production line going in here, I'll have plenty of space and plenty of room to make it work. That was the old episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the new episode where we got to build some more craziness. So in today's episode, I wanted to build something over here, which is be where we'd be housing all the fuel that we're going to be making. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have half of it over here, half of it over there. So it actually can be divided evenly going across. I also want to make this area right here where it's the walkways going off to the sides that you would see in a normal cathedral, as well as the one going into the back. So we're going to have that. And if we have some time, I want to continue working on the top up here because I want to get this going all the way up and seeing how it would look so we can get the, you know, basically the skeleton of this whole thing going. So without further ado, let's get underway. <laughs> oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, three hours in and boy, did I make some progress. So I got rid of this middle part so that way if we're looking actually into it, you can see all the way down there which makes it look really cool, I gotta say. Not to mention, I finished off this area going all the way across, and as you can see, it looks amazing going all the way down. So these are pretty much set off. I gotta figure out what I'm going to be making in any of this stuff, but for the most part, the framework is looking pretty good. And I decided that in the center part, I'm gonna do exactly what I did for the ones below it, where I'm actually gonna put the struts and everything, but I might have to change up which struts I'm going to do going forward. As for this back section though, I did change it up a little bit. I extended out our wonderful power plant just a little bit over here. You know, nothing too great, but it gets us almost to that 300 mark. Oh, and I figured this out. So the oil nodes that I have here, here, and there, if I combine all these together and switch them to just fuel, I can actually make the fuel for enough for 300 generators. So I don't need any compact coal, and I can use that for other productions while only using these for fuel. Hooray! But as you can see, I finished out the interior of this part over here, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to have to change up how I want these little struts and corners and stuff like that, but I still need to work on the framework a little bit more. But the nice thing about it is I have all this stuff evenly going out from each and every side. Everything is just looking so good. Oh, and for this top part over here, once I get the framework and everything for this, oh my god, I have this great idea where it's going to arch over the side. Oh, it's going to look so cool. So uh, give me a little bit, and I'll start working on that. Oh, welcome to the Chaos Factory. 
<laughs> that is looking amazing. The nice archway going over there for either side. Oh, it looks so cool. Even by myself, a nice little sign. Uh, let's fly over here and check and look at what we got. Try to make all the letters nice and even. Uh, even trying to make them nice and tall so they could actually have this nice little part in the center. And of course, painted them white. So we got one, two, and three tall on that in case you guys were wondering and wanted to make it yourself. Oh, so we kept with the nice white theme. Uh, it makes it look so clean and futuristic. And it really does give that nice like church or cathedral look. But let's go up there and take a look at what we built. So flying up here, you can see this is looking glorious. It's actually a nice little curve down to another little curve over here. And of course I use stuff like the, um, whatever the hell you want to call these foundation frames for the inner working part. So now this whole thing kind of looks like a, actually looks like an airplane hanger. I mean, if you were to make it like that, but the nice thing about the ceiling, oh my God, look at, why did I just run into a wall? What is wrong? So the nice thing about it is if you look at it, it looks so cool. Oh my god, I just realized I messed up and I have to fix some stuff. But don't worry, it's not like it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh, but good thing I noticed it now until it was too late. But anyway, so we got the top here. We got this looking good and everything is looking fantastic. So my plan for over here is to actually get this closed up over here and then probably coming down going onto here the same archway that I was doing for that. I think that would look really good and really tie this together in the end over here as well as the end over there. I got my nice little center part over here which is going to be similar to like say like a bell tower or something like that. But with the way that everything's going over here, it's too flat for the top right here. So I'm going to have to add some extra layers. I think maybe something in the center, more archways attaching to it, going all the way down would probably be really nice. But, 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 but take a look at this ending over here. So as I was building it and I built this ending over here, I'm like, oh my God, am I just going to make this completely flat on the edge? No, 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 no. I thought of an amazing design choice on the edge over here. So after all my years of Minecraft, I'm going to have to put them to real good work over here because what I want to do is I want to make this edge over here and that edge over there. I want to make it like rounded. All right. Similar to what I did in uh, the Project Power or Project Sun. All right. And I'm going to make this edge rounded and then another edge rounded and then a smaller round one and everything. And as it goes up, it just kind of gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And of course, just keeping this going all the way out to the edge. But oh boy, is this going to be a pain in the butt, but it's going to look magnificent. But see, the problem is if I make this completely flat all the way out of the edge over here, it's going to it's going to suck. <laughs> because uh, yeah sure it'll look good with the flat walls and everything but with the rounded walls it'll look so much more fuller better ah, however it's gonna be but then again I'm also gonna have to change underneath on how I have the train stations because that's gonna affect that as well so it's one of those things that it's a blessing and a curse at the same time oh but it's gonna look amazing so basically I'm going to have to use all my Minecraft knowledge to make this happen, which is going to be interesting to say the very least, but it is going to be a lot of work and I don't mind it. I just have to finish all this up for update number four and then I can build it all in the now. So with that all being said, there's just one more tiny itsy bitsy little problem. See, it looks good beautiful doesn't it and everything <laughs> well it's that time of the big builds where we actually have to go into the options in the video settings and turn down our settings see unfortunately everything is it's too much for the computer unfortunately so basically we're gonna have to turn everything down to a whole bunch of boop and just basically hope for the best. What is this? May have performance impact on some system. Now ah, we'll see how it goes. FBF cap, not only that, ditter, contact shadows. 
So we'll basically turn everything down to nothing. All right, and oh my god, that's horrible. What happened? Oh god, it looks so bad, but so bright. Oh, so everything looks. Oh my god, it looks so. Oh my god, it's so horrible. But it runs so much smoother. Look at that. Oh, everything is really, really like, ugh, poopy. It's poopy to say the least, but it does run a little bit more smoother and it'll be a lot easier to build because it'll be a lot brighter. Unfortunately, um, it won't look that great. Uh, we've built too much. See, so here's the thing. So if I'm inside the building, all right, and I build little like buildings and stuff like here, I can turn all those settings on because I'm not running around the world. But when I'm building all this stuff and I'm trying to get everything done or I'm looking at it from the outside, it takes a lot for my system to handle. And thus, that's where all this problem comes into is I can't really have this like, you know, doing that when I'm building. But I will try to showcase as much as I can in good quality for the videos. But for when it comes to building, I'm going to have to build like this from now on. It's sad, but when you do big buildings such as this, it's what you have to do. Oh, look how poopy the landscape is. So, yep, that's going to be it for today, guys. I'll turn my set. You know what? Hold on. Before we end, I'll turn my settings back on. Oh, that's so much better. Now I can see it in all its glory. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down there. I read all eight of your guys' comments. You guys are the best. This community is the sh It's amazing. And we got to keep it that way. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. All those great things. I got to become king of YouTube somehow. And I will see you in the next video. But anyway, guys, have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, ah, coffee.